you sort of align your expectations? Let's talk about some sort of real world, you know, implementation. Like, you know, you have a connection, of course, you, you trust each other. But in the real world, how do you sort of see that taking shape? Uh, Ruchira, let me just come to come to you first, you know, how do you sort of make this partnership take it, you know, beyond being able to relate to each other's fu like functions and roles and positions in a company, but then sort of putting all that in action, you know, having having sort of meaningful outcomes come out of this partnership? Yeah, no, great. <laughs> good, good question. And I think very early in the day, we realized that uh, given one, the volatile environment and the need for constant calibration and recalibration and therefore making the right choices, you know, which has become so critical. Uh, we actually said we have to formalize this. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, seek a lot of time from Hina and she's got a, an incredibly busy calendar as you can well imagine. So what we did was we calendarized really one, the CEO meeting with the marketing leadership, not just with me, but with the marketing leadership, right? Because like you said, Hina's been a marketer. Right. It would be a waste to come to her as a CEO and say, hey, you know, this is the plan, we want you to approve it. Instead, we use that, and that's informal, by the way, where we're not looking at this as a review as much as a co-creation. You know, and saying, how do we co-create and solve whatever are the most urgent consumer, customer, or the business problems? Mm -hmm. It also is a great place for her to then put her view on saying, hey, you know, I really think this is blipping, and et cetera, et cetera. So it, it's fantastic. It's also fantastic learning for the leadership team. You know, where they're actually listening to what the CEO wants rather than presenting to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for one, that's, that's a very, Collaborative very valuable in that sense. Yeah. Co-creation and collaboration really, rather than a review. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that helps us just take a, you know, just take a breath and really get into saying why. You know, why do we want to do this and why do we think this is what we'd like, we think will work. The other one's my one-on-ones. Mm -hmm. They were put in very, very early and I juice them to the most, or to the max really. And I use that not just to, you know, calibrate what I am working on, but also hear from her. Because mm -hmm. Hina is also on the global exec. So she gets a very early view on what's happening in the business, both globally, consumer, watch outs, you know. And I get a lot of download from that mm -hmm. in terms of the things that I should probably be looking at more actively. Finally, I think the other thing that we actually talk about a lot is really how we're going to be shaping talent and capability to deliver. And that for me is a very valuable conversation because it's not something you can only do in meetings. And I'm not here talking about the BAU meetings because marketing is, has a seat at every single yes. table at Diageo, mm -hmm. right? It's not like we are called in to say, okay, hey, you know, we've decided this. So we are part of investments, strategic choices, portfolio choices. But these one-on-ones and these co-creation kind of conversations really give me a fabulous insight into what she's thinking of beyond the mission and the vision for the organization, mm -hmm. you know, it's which is invaluable. a shared mission mm -hmm. uh, with every single employee.